All right, guys, so we're going to just uh, look at taping Dylan's hands up uh, in a way that we would for a fight. So we normally get the person to turn their chair backwards just so they've got something to lean their arms on because we don't want their arms to fatigue. If there isn't anything, they can just keep putting it on. But we're going to have to hold the hand up. So this just makes it easy if there's a chair or something you can use. And then you should put a towel or something on it just so it's not digging into their arms because we don't want the blood flow to stop. So you get the person to put their hand up, you normally just give their arm a bit of a massage, try and just release the uh, forearm a little bit. And at the same time, you seal the feeling to make sure there's no problems. You keep a bit of an eye on your, your uh, fighter while you're doing it, because you'll see if they wince at anything, and then you'll know that either there's a problem, and they shouldn't fight because their hand's damaged, or that you can pad that area extra to make sure that they're going to be safe for the fight. Um, we then start off by just making a small pad to go across the knuckles. So you would sort of work out how wide your partner's knuckles are. Uh, so Dylan's knuckles are pretty small, his hand width, <laughs> just like his feet. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna make it just uh, around my fingers held pretty tightly together. If I was doing someone with a larger uh, knuckle span, then I would open my fingers up and spread them and that way it would give me a larger surface area. And if I was with someone even smaller, I'd maybe just use three fingers and expand those three fingers to get the right width. So when you're making this pad up, you'd normally try and make it probably about uh, 20 wraps around as a guess, but you just want it to feel like it's starting to get a little bit of thickness about it. And yes, it'll wrap and be annoying. If you pull it too hard, it'll all come out of shape on it when we're using these bandages too. So just nice, easy wrap. Cool, so when I got it to a thickness that I'm happy with, then I just try and make it sort of sit relatively straight, but it doesn't matter if it's not too even. I then would be placing that on uh, the knuckles, making sure I've got the right length and width and, and stuff like that. So normally at this point I would cut that at the distance that I was happy with, just to make it easy for the next stage. And I'm gonna use a fresh bandage, because that one I had there was just only a half one already, and it uh, wouldn't be long enough to finish the whole wrap. Cool, so I've got my bandages set up, I've got my wrap set up, and now because of Pro Fight, and in Victoria I'm allowed to tape his hands, I'm gonna tape his hands first and then we wrap over the top. So I start the tape off, I place it behind his thumb, just down near so it's sitting flat in towards the palm, over the thumb, down back behind again so it goes over the tape I just did and reinforces this back part of the thumb. The pressure here is like I'm pulling on it so it's just sort of the pressure of the tape being pulled firmly but it's not super tight. Then as I go around his wrist, there's no real uh, tension there. So I'm just wrapping that around his wrist now. So that I'm not pulling tight in. It shouldn't even really overly pinch the skin. And I'll just go around sort of two times and just tape back on itself. So around the thumb, back around the wrist. I then start to uh, build up over his um, knuckle area a little bit. So in Victoria, we're not meant to tape over the front of the knuckles. We tape from behind the knuckles. So we would normally tape and strap across. Just in towards the thumb, but you don't need to go right in. You don't want to annoy the person's hand too much by going too much inside. And that would be about your fully legal amount that you would tape up. But if we can get away with it, we'll generally tape a little bit across the knuckles. So we would do the band so it sits halfway across. So I'm not coming down the knuckles in here, I'm just sticking the middle of the tape across the knuckle area. And I would build this up to probably about 10, so that's three, four, five, six,
seven eight that's pretty good on Dylan's knuckles so what I'm sort of looking for is I want it to make his fist a little bit tighter I want him to sort of get this so it's coming out almost as far as these and just helping giving that bit of extra strength but yeah somewhere between sort of eight ten is good then I'm just going to do one across the front so I'll just either go uh, usually from the back around and then this one I will pull tight so I pull back in on him so I get to to this side bit I start pulling tight from now in and across and just cut it off just near thumb and then just flatten that out and then if the person who's getting wrapped wants to play with it a little bit make sure that there's no tape sticking somewhere funny they can just sort of tighten it up how's it feel Dylan good man Good. So it's important to check that the person's uh, not getting any blood circulation stoppage or it's not feeling too tired or I haven't. Sometimes you can just get it into annoying creases in the, the hand so that you just check to make sure that's not happening. So now I just take the uh, pad that we made up at the start, place it on. Oop, actually. Cool, so you can see we're using two different types of cloth here. That's not on purpose, it's just the two different types of cloth, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I get Don open his hand up. And I'm just gonna go around a couple of times, around his knuckles, try not to go too low onto the uh, little finger. Um, so uh, I don't want it to go down past that first knuckle on it because it'll be uncomfortable. And you just sort of go up and down on it a little bit just to make sure it's pretty neat. Back down around the thumb. Just like you would with your normal wrapping when you wrap your wraps. So we're just trying to reinforce the wrist, reinforce the back of the hand and reinforce the knuckles as much as possible. That pressure all right, Dill? Yeah, it's good, man. Cool, man. When I'm coming down the wrist, you just sort of come down to uh, where the, the knuckle is on, on the wrist probably just like the length or the width of your bandage down past that, not, not too much further. <laughs> Don't end up going down halfway down their arm or anything like that, because that would be funny. And we're nearly there. These things always get cotton coming out, so just give it a pull off every now and then. Oh, it's a funny word, Dill. Excellent, so I've just got to the end of uh, my taping. So you're just gonna finish wherever you like. So you can wrap up and tuck in under here. You can pull it back to here. I'm gonna take Dylan's back down to his wrist again and just finish it underneath itself. So we just sort of pull it through however you can to make it relatively neat and sit pretty easily. So then just sits like that. Cool. So now we tape up again and we pretty much repeat the process we did at the start. So I'd start down on his thumb area. I'd go around. Again, I'm not pulling tight, just the firmness of the tape at this point. I'm down on his wrist. I'm gonna go around a couple of times. Tom, I'm just gonna go down a little bit longer on it because I'm gonna go to most of the wrap, so I'm not just going to go just over, so your skin's not getting hit by the tape this time. Again, uh, in Victoria, we're going to come to the knuckle, so I would start, and I'm going to cross on a slight, whoa. I'm going to cross on a slight diagonal, so I'm going to come from his thumb across back down, 
And this is just to give it a little bit more reinforcement across those major uh, bones leading up to his knuckles and of course his thumb down here. And this taping again is just to make the um, wrap a little bit stiffer and to also support that hand just that little bit more. So now these ones I am putting on the back, I'm pulling it quite a bit tighter than I was before because there's a bit of give in the, the wrap and I'm just trying to get that tight. So now as I get up towards his knuckle, uh, just make a fist again, Bill. You can see that my strapping's on a different angle to what his knuckle is. And as I said, I'm not meant to go over the front of the knuckle. So now I just have to change the angle that I'm putting it on a little bit. So I'm just gonna pull it back towards the front a bit. Cool, now I'm just gonna strap into the inside. So I'm gonna to turn his hand over. And you can either do this before you do that strapping on the back or after, it doesn't really make any difference, but some people will have their own little personal preference on what they would like to do on it. So I'm just gonna put a bit of tape across just to help pinch this together. This tape that we're using today is not sticking real well. And I think it's because it's minus five degrees. So just trying to bundle it a little bit together for my next bit. Now I need to take a, a strap, probably around about 15 centimeters long, at a guess. And I'm gonna strip it down into small sections. So I just push my fingernail in and just pull. And I just need uh, three of these. So you're just sort of basically taking that into thirds or if you've gone too, too small or too wide, you can do four of them just so one's not too fat. And now I take the bit of tape that I've got and try not to let it curl too much. I'm gonna place it so that part of it goes over and then that gives me somewhere to push up underneath. I pull that nice and uh, tight in there. I get Dylan to turn his hand over. I pinch the tape together just where it's gonna go into his webbing so it's not overly sticking. And I'm gonna pull that up in through the, the knuckle area and back. And I probably just made that a couple of centimeters too long. I just wanted to finish about mid back of his palm. So repeat the process again. Go in, leave some overhang, tuck that in underneath. Again, turn his hand over. Pinch the tape so it doesn't stick to his finger too much. Up, I'm gonna cross it back over. So it's coming up towards uh, the main knuckle, so there's no magic X pattern, but it just will tend to go that way anyway. And just the last one, same process again, tucking in, pinch it up, make a fist still, and pulling in. Cool. Now, if we're in Thailand, we would tape down across the knuckles again. Um, in America, we're not allowed to use any taping at, uh, at all. We're only allowed to use three strips of tapes, the same as the amateurs here uh, and the amateur boxing here. Um, so now with the, because we're in Victoria, make fist again for me, Dill. I'm gonna pull this one and go just so I'm just going over the edge of the knuckles, just so it's still legal, but I'm, I'm just giving that little bit of reinforcement there. And again, I'll pull this one a little bit tighter. And up. And I'm just gonna finish off with a couple across the top. Just to keep it all in nice. And done. Normally when the wraps are done this way, you generally have to cut them off to get it done. You don't have to, but it just, because the tape's all separate, it's a pain in the neck pulling it off. Although the top panel tends to come off all right. Just want to make sure you, your uh, fighter feels fairly strong in it. The board will come and check that there's nothing hard in there. It needs to feel soft. And you can see Dylan's palm's pretty open, so in the gloves, it's not going to overly impact him or anything. Cool. cool. Thanks, guys.